Arbalist has long been the king of PvE and a nightmare to deal with in PvP. At least now, we might have a new competitor for the kinetic slot for end game PvE content. Mishenda is now an absolutely brilliant weapon to bring with you in Grandmaster Nightfalls thanks to recent buffs, although it is currently unclear if one of those is intentional or not. You better bloody hope it is. Regardless peeps, this brief video is going to take a pass at both weapons, why they are so good, and help you make a choice on which one to use for endgame content, especially when choosing your builds for GM Nightfalls. As usual, if you find this video helpful in any way throughout this duration, please slap that like button for that sexy YouTube algorithm, like your life depended on it, and consider subscribing to help the channel grow. Let's get into it shall we? So we will kick things off with Arbalest. We all know how strong it is so I'll keep it short. This linear fusion rifle is the current go-to for most PvE players in endgame content due to its ease of use. Its unique ability to shoot through all shield elements where match game is active makes it so strong that you don't really need to worry too much about the elements of your elemental weapon, not to mention the disruption break perk, which increases the damage your arbalist can do by 50%, and of course it has intrinsic anti-barrier rounds, capable of one-shotting barrier champion shields in GM difficulty. Breaking the barrier shield will proc disruption break too, dealing that bonus kinetic damage. As far as I'm concerned, this weapon, alongside Lorentz, should not be anywhere near the kinetic slot, but should be in the heavy slot due to how strong they are. Just my opinion though. Now, the next part is solely under the assumption that Bungie aren't going to just patch it, so fingers crossed. Wish Ender is now a very strong kinetic option for endgame content. Alongside Arbalest, Wishender also now has intrinsic anti-barrier arrows that can also one-shot GM Nightfall Barrier Champion shields. It is also doing some very high damage numbers for a primary weapon. I would even say it's currently doing as much as what a special weapon should do. You'll notice when shooting at perfect draw, three damage numbers appear. It's like it's doing three times the intended damage. As far as I'm aware, it's unclear whether this is a bug or I missed a patch note, but for comparison purposes against another bow, say for example, Wolf Tone Draw, the damage numbers are glaring. Wolf Tone's precision damage here is 7481 against our barrier servitor guinea pig, but Wish Ender's damage completely overshadows this. Look at those numbers people, 7941 precision damage, as well as two extra damage numbers of 8396, nearly totaling 25,000 damage. I pray this is intended as it's not going to get patched after I make this video, but it makes Wish Ender so valuable, capable of one-shotting most ads in GM Nightfalls too. But the burning question is, which should you use? We all know that, despite Wishender's current capabilities, Arbalest is still probably the better option, mainly due to the fact that it can break any elemental shield, unlike Wishender. Wishender is, however, a primary after all, so you won't have the issue of worrying about its ammo economy, as opposed to RB having special ammo, giving you that, oh, should I use my ammo headache. Arbalest may be stronger, but for how long is anyone's guess. Bungie have mentioned not too long ago that Arbalest is a problem. I will not be surprised if it does end up in the heavy slot at some point. It's simply too strong to be a kinetic weapon, people. How else can you nerf it? It's due to receive some sort of nerf next season alongside Lorentz, but it's still not clear what that is, and I just don't see it doing the trick. PvP players will probably agree with the heavy slot change due to its ease of use, but feel free to start a discussion in the comments section. Let's skip to the TLDR, people. Both weapons are great options, but Arbalest has the advantage over Wishender purely on the fact that it can break all shields, but the eventual nerf to it will peg it back whenever that happens, which may pave way for Wishender to shine if its damage numbers are correct. If not, it will inevitably get patched, and then I've just spent the last few days making this video for no bloody reason at all, but for now, my preference is Wishender. That's it folks, what do you think? I've personally been using Wishender a lot during GM helps in LFGs, it's particularly useful on GM Lightblade. If you haven't checked out Wishender yet, please take it for a spin and let me know in the comments what you prefer to use. Talking of Grandmasters, I have been helping LFGs get their GMs done over the last few days. Let me know if there is an appetite for a GM help stream. Next up, I'll be taking a look at a certain Hunter Exotic that recently got re-enabled. Stay tuned for that one. Don't forget to drop that like button and slap for that sexy YouTube algorithm and subscribe for more weekly Destiny 2 content. This was Plasma Alchemist, your viewership is much appreciated, until next time. Fight forever, Guardian!